broke out in Times Square over the weekend. One protester even held up an image of a swastika on the phone. That's despite New York City having the largest Jewish population in the world outside Israel. New York Post political reporter John Levine was there, and he's going to take us through what happened. Morning, John. Tell me Morning, more. Morning, Stuart. I... I've lived in New York City my whole life, and I have never seen anything like this in my life. These, these people are a death cult, and you're walking in Times Square, and you have hundreds of people dressed up as Hamas fighters and, and holding flags and wearing the masks, and some of them have shirts with you know, suicide bombers on them. And this is not Gaza City. This is not even Europe where those kinds of scenes have become more common. This is New York City. These are people who, when the rally's over, they're going to be in the movie theaters with you. They're going to be on the buses and trains with you. They're going to be at the airport with you. They are among us, and it's incredibly disconcerting. And you've got the FBI monitoring your uncle's Trumpy Facebook posts, and I just hope that there's some of those resources maybe could be diverted to some of the people I saw yesterday, because if there is another 9-11 in this country, it is going to come from the people we saw yesterday in New York Well, that's City. the kind of thing that worries a lot of people. We have, a, we have over 100 known terrorists who've come across our southern border. I don't think we know where they are. No could idea. Be in Times Square yesterday. They could be there. The scenes that you know Trey Yingst is doing such wonderful work out in in Israel right now. Those scenes over there. I just worry we're going to start to see that here more and more. It's very disturbing. McCarthy is speaking right now on Israel. Our reporter says he may. You you went to the demonstration yesterday. Are more planned for today? There's more planned for today. Oh yeah, and this was one of dozens held in America yesterday in this country so it it's here they are among us i'm sure you saw it but 31 groups in harvard came out and said it's israel's fault right i mean the academic what's going on in this country been, the academic institutions have been completely overthrown by all of these sort of very radical progressive ideas crt wokeness whatever you want to call it and i personally would prefer anyone that went to a solid state school in new york than harvard yale